Today we're going to visit Back Road Berries, which is on County Road 103, just outside the Villages, Florida. And we have a special bonus drone footage for you of the farm and some really nice music, too. Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, local honey uh, and strawberry jam and strawberry preserves. The honey's uh, a lot of people with allergies and things like that. This really helps uh, people. And uh, so you can get all this here too, along with those beautiful, what are those strawberry onions, right? Yes. Strawberry onions, I just love the local. Those things are beautiful. <laughs> okay, we're here with Mary Beth and she is the co-owner of Back Road Berries along with her husband Dennis and they have a beautiful farm here and a lot of people it's really busy here on a Saturday morning so how are you this morning doing just fine how are you doing very very good tell me about the farm uh, we have strawberries blueberries and blackberries right now we're in our strawberry season okay. and we're open for you pick uh, our schedule does fluctuate uh, it's based on the amount of ripe berries that we have mm -hmm. in the field. Yeah. And we have a website that we'll keep up to date where you can yeah. go and check and see if we're open for picking. You can also sign up for our emails on our website and I send out email alerts with picking times. Perfect, perfect. Oh yeah, that's great. I like that idea. And the, I think the idea that I also like is you get out here, you're out in the fresh air, you're bending over, you're leaning over you you're getting some exercise too oh yes yeah. so that's good i think it's a great combination uh that's one of the reasons we like to come over here my wife and i is that we're getting some exercise too mm -hmm. and if you walk all over the end all the way to the very very end and come back it's about a half a mile right so you can put on some you know mm -hmm. some mileage so that's really really good uh what else oh yeah how did you all get going you're from florida right yeah we're from right here we're from florida oh you're in right this here okay. area mm -hmm. And you got in the strawberry, blueberry, blackberry business because? Well, um, my husband was a watermelon farmer and he re wanted to retire from watermelons. Yeah. So we decided to plant berries. We started out with all blackberries and then oh, really? we added the blueberries and then we added the strawberries. Oh, oh perfect, yeah. You have a lot of people here this morning, which is great, and a lot of people out there picking, including a couple of friends of mine out there, which was fun <laughs> to see, so I haven't seen him in a while. So, um, now you're going to have your strawberry season ends about, what, the end of March? Oh, uh, well, we could go through the month of March. It okay. just depends on the weather. Oh, yeah. Strawberry season is December through March, or into yep. March. And then our blueberries will start in April, and our blackberries will start in May. I just went back to, to the blueberries. What took a walk down back? Yeah. There's some already, already to yes. pick. Just a few young plants. Right. Yeah. Right. And but um, they've been blooming like crazy. I, uh, I said I, <laughs> I was almost tempted to pick one, but I was a good boy and I didn't do it. <laughs> But right they, now, right they now, look yummy. Yeah, you'll see one out there and you'll say, oh, that looks nice yeah, and ripe, uh, uh, but it might make you pucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm here with Dennis, who's the co owner of Back Road, Back Road Berries, and uh, just talked to your lovely wife. And I'm just curious how you all got started down here in Florida. Well, we've been here our whole life, I've been here 75 years. Wow and uh, on this place. This, wow. is, this place was a, a land grant in the late 1800s by Chester Arthur to my great great granddad. Wow. And uh, I farmed in this area my whole life. And I retired about 15 years ago and decided that I needed something to do. <laughs> so I started a berry farm. So I don't guess I really did retire. <laughs> did not, I don't think you really did retire. So your, your berries now, I noticed uh, this year when you look out here that your berries are uh, a little closer together this year, I think. Yes, we put, in, some about new rows. Ten, put in about 10,000 more plants this year. So how many plants do you have total on just the strawberries? Well, when we started, we had right at 30,000. Wow. And 
I guess in the years past we've been plant, planting 18 to 19,000. But uh, we decided to put them a little closer together because more and more people have been wanting them. We need yeah, a few yeah. more berries, so yeah. we got them. <laughs> so how, now how many, what's the total now? The grand total now is about 40? About 30,000. 30,000, yeah. 30,000 plants? That, it takes a, you don't do that in an afternoon planting all those plants, do you? <laughs> you know, we have a, a outfit that comes in here and plants them for us. Really? It's the crew that works for my son. He grows a lot of watermelons. Okay. And they'll plant these in about six hours. Wow. About eight people will come in here and they'll, wow. we punch the holes first. Wow. In the plastic and they come in and drop the plants in. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, my gosh, oh my gosh. That's amazing. Well, it is a beautiful farm. We love coming here. My wife and I come down. You know you've seen us quite a few times here. Yeah. And we always love coming down here. It's, it's our favorite farm, it really isn't it? I like the idea that you do have the strawberries, then you go into the blueberries, mm -hmm. and then the, the blackberries. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's perfect uh, it natural. Is. It is. It runs about uh, seven months out of the year. Seven months out of the year. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of work. Well, it, thank, is, it is. Thank you fun. so much for uh, allowing us to come down here and film and everything. It's really been great. I really well, I just appreciate you coming out here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. It's absolutely gorgeous out here today. Yeah. I mean, I, and the people keep rolling in. We're getting busy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Parking lot is almost full. Loads of folks out here. And they're getting ready for the go pick them. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> well, have fun. You made, you made a lasting impression, of course. Leave some. Uh, leave a couple. Leave some berries, will you? Okay, a quick along the blackberry and blueberry plants. We'll start with the blackberry plants first. And notice the very first uh, plant we come across. There's some buds over there, little small buds, and up here there's even a bigger bud. So lots of new growth going on. The vines here of the blackberry plants. And I think you're going to really love these berries when they come out. They are just spectacular. They really. But look at the rows. I mean, it, row upon row upon row. All right. Beautiful irrigation set up. Beautifully manicured. Very, very nice. It's always a pleasure to come out here and pick wild berries. They're really. They, Really, really terrific. I should say manicured, I guess, berries. But they really are terrific. And I just look how many rows there are. Now, over on the left-hand side, I just want to give you a quick view of this. Those are all the strawberry fields. And there's the back end of the strawberry fields down there. We're going to walk to the back end. And there's, what, 30, 40, 30 to 40,000 uh, strawberry plants over there. It's amazing. But here we are with the blackberries some more. I just wanted to show you all the blackberry plants in the end here with the pump house, which irrigation system, it's uh, obviously you have to have that if you want to grow any of these berries. And the first uh, one we're going to look at here is uh, these are the blueberries now. And they'll be, in, they'll be ready in another month, so, month or so. And you can see all of there's some blossoms, tons of blossoms. I mean hundreds of thousands of blossoms out here on all of these blueberry plants, and they really look terrific. And uh, some of them, in fact, if you look closely, you can actually see a couple of berries on there. Berries, uh, according to Murray Beth, they, they kind of they make you pucker. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't think they'd be, but they're going to be nice and sweet in, uh, in about a month or so. So these will, be, they'll, these will come in before the blackberries do. So the blueberries, uh, I'm looking forward to these because I absolutely love these blueberries out here. They're absolutely great picking. Now, um, what do we see right here? Those are bees. That's right. And every one of those little pods you see, white pods, um, they are a potential blueberry. But it has to be pollinated. And if they don't get pollinated, you don't have berries. So... Um, the bees are our friend, and don't uh, don't you know it? They just if it weren't for the bees, you wouldn't have any of these berries, really. I mean, they all they're all pollinated, so um, it's really terrific. And here's row upon row upon row. There must be hundreds of thousands of berries uh, being grown out here. 
And as we make our way back to the end of the farm uh, with the blueberry plants, and you can see how many there are. There's just tons of them out here. It's, it's fun to pick. I'm, it's really a pleasure. And I'm glad they're doing it. Look at those berries there. They almost look ready, but not quite. I don't think you got to wait on those. But there's going to be just, a, judging by the blossoms, there's going to be just tons of them. Now, uh, as we get near the edge of the farmland, I'm going to take another quick look right over here. The very, very back of the farm here when the strawberry plants, the very, very back of the farm, there's even beautiful berries out here. Look at those red ones right there, and look at those other red ones all ready to pick. Wow. 